Also wir befinden uns hier jetzt im Trump Hotel bei Asus. Dort ist ein Republic of Gamers System ausgestellt mit der Ares 2. Und nun wird uns JJ was über die Ares 2 und dieses System erzählen. Hallo. Uh, so uh, what we actually have right here is uh, we have uh, the two components in here that are brand new. We've got our PCI SSD, so that's actually the Raider. Um, so this is a brand new device that we've actually had in development for about 10 months. Uh, we're not going into any specifics yet as far as, you know, the memory, the controller, the firmware specifics, um, but we definitely want to let users know that we've spent a large amount of time on validation, compatibility. We've checked it out on all our active chipsets to make sure that it posts correctly, it boots correctly, mm -hmm. it supports uh, complex configurations like RAID or multiple GPUs. Um, so it's going to be coming out towards the end of Q1. Uh, we'll definitely release more of that information as far as what type of cool software we might be offering with it to add more value and functionality as well as all the performance benefits. Uh, it is a fully bootable solution so it can be used as an OS volume or a storage volume. Uh, and of course it being PCI Express it has high performance and low latency so pretty cool device that's going to be coming soon from the RG team. Can you also tell us something uh, for the, about the graphics card? Yes, uh, so the graphics card, it's our highest end graphics card that we've released. So it, it's a combination 7970 uh, dual gigahertz edition card. So that is the cutting edge in terms of AMD's top end lineup. Uh, now it's a two slot solution versus a three slot solution and that's because we're using a hybrid cooling solution. So we've got a actual fan that blows down on the VRM and the PCB componentry to keep that all nice and cool. And then we have a double wide radiator which is actually cooling the GPUs. In terms of the actual overall temperature performance, it's quite strong. Uh, when you take a look at the thermals, even with running uh, QHD or greater resolutions, you're only looking at about 55 to maybe about 60C under full gaming load. And uh, the acoustics are very, very quiet. So overall, you get the flagship level of performance, uh, very cool, very quiet. And you have full five-way or six-way Affinity support, depending on the switch. Uh, there's a BIOS switch on the card. And in terms of the collectability of the card, it's a limited allocation, so only 1,000 pieces globally. A projected MSRP is $1,500, and every card will have laser etched serial number on it. Very nice. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.